G'day on the Aussie Mud Lark. Thanks for joining me again as I continue my search for history on one of the largest archaeological sites in the world, the Thames River in London. So um, it's an early low tide today. So I'm up early, I'm out early. So I potentially have nowhere near enough caffeine in my body to actually make a video today. So I'll see if I can do something about that on the way and let's get going. I think I'm gonna to have to apologize in advance for the wind today. It was howling yesterday and I actually didn't come down just because of the wind. Today it's better, but it's still bad. So I'm here in a little alcove here, it's fine. But see, as I step out onto the foreshore, that's the wind. And that's protected. So um, I may have to mute the audio at some points and just override it with just some text. So um, sorry if you don't hear my voice. Maybe that's a good thing for some people, eh? Anyway, so maybe less talking today, um, more music um, and a bit of text on the screen. So apologies in advance if that's what I have to do, but um, let's go, let's get dirty. Let's see if we can find some amazing old London history hidden in the mud.
lot of mud here, but there's only one little area here with enough um, to catch all these little finds as they get washed out. So I'm gonna spend my time just searching this little area along here. Okay, I'm trying to protect the microphone from the wind, but I don't think I can. There is a queen. That's a nice one. Nineteen forty one, I think. Well, I can't believe how many queens I'm finding this morning. 
Um, like I said, it's an intense little area. Because of the lack of stones down there, it's all being caught in this one little strip here. So it's just coin after coin after coin, which is so much fun. Well, I've decided to jump up off the foreshore today so I can clean up a bit to have my break. But because I'm out so early today, my break is a bacon and egg muffin, homemade. Um, mm, just what you need when you're down on a windy foreshore. And just breakfast, iced coffee. Best part, as always, is the view. So I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at.
little find. Look at that pipe bowl. Now, is it? Ah, oh, there's no stem. Oh, wow. Look at that decoration. How beautiful is that? Hey, that is lovely. Hey, that's a nice bowl. Wow. like that before so I have no idea what that age is hopefully I can search it and find something online if not I'll just put it in my bowl of beautiful bowls Cod bottle. Ooh, look at that lovely vul Ooh, sorry. vulcanite bottle stopper. detail on that. Okay, I'll take that home and cut it up for whoever lost it. Or I'll contact them. Viking shield. Wow, my first Viking find. Amazing. Now this could be either a wig curler or a fishing weight. It's a fishing weight. Quite crude. Alright, so we're right on low tide now. That's my last chance to have a little scavenge round. To see what I can find down here on the low tide mark. It's so hard searching around here because there's so much like, modern rubbish mixed in. So but it's good as if the metals are what's that? Metals are sticking together. What's that? Um, yeah, modern metal sits here. It could be old metal as well. That could that be? Ah, it's been washed out. The tide's going. It. What a lovely little bottle. Oh, three. Anything inside? No. Cool to have a cork in it. Yeah. It's a nice find. Not a key. Well, it is a key. It's a key to an old sardine tin. They still come with these keys? I don't think they do anymore, do they? 
I remember using these keys to open up sardines when I was a kid. Peeling them back, like put it in and you roll it out off the top of the can. Don't know how I didn't cut my fingers off. Part of the glass bottle stop. Same missing the top. Wow. Look at the size of that tooth. Now imagine that must be a horse. It's a monster. Very big one. Look at that tide. It's just driving me out. Then go home. Then look at yourself. You're a disgrace. Get out of here. Not long left, I don't think. Alright, looks like we found another vulcanite bottle stop. Right. Again, tide's coming in so quick, it's just about to be gone. Ooh, that's got nice detail on it. Let me give that a wash. That's right, coming you can actually clean my shoes while we're at it. My boots. See if I can get that in the light. Where's the light? The sun's going. Oh, that's really nice. What's that say on it? Like I said, it's hard. I'm looking through the lens, not at the actual item. So it's always hard for me to see on screen. Um, something Lindsay something. Hull. Okay, Hull. Okay, that's cool. So Hull is a town north of London. City. Town, sorry. Sorry, don't want to offend anyone from Hull. Um, Midlands or further north. I'm not sure. What a cool picture of that. Is that a... Um, Guy on a horse, standing on top of a barrelly something amount. Well, that's, that's lovely detail. I'll see if I can get a better photo of that later. That's a really nice one. Well done, people of Hull. You made some lovely bottle stops. Looks like we found one last Vulcanite bottle stop. Unfortunately, this is a, not like the one from Hull. Well done, Hull. This is just a plain one. It's a keeper, though. Little sweet little babies. Alright everyone, well I can't go any further that way and I'm now cut off from going back that way. So I have one way out, it's up that ladder. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on that button down there and subscribe. Like I said, the more people who subscribe, the more my channel grows, the more videos I'll make. So click that if you can and I'll keep punching out as many videos as I can. So thanks for watching, um, I'm out of here. Um, I'll see you next time down on the Thames foreshore searching for some history in the mud. Thanks.